hello and welcome to replay value. Tell me if you've heard this one before. Two athletes are matched up against one another in a tournament. One appears to be a skilled enough player in their own right, but the other is a certified genius. During a one-sided game in which the genius swiftly takes the first set, it becomes readily apparent that the genius is dealing with some unresolved mental issues that are holding them back. After the tearful loss, we skip ahead to the following year where both of these players are now attending the same school and therefore are on the same team. It's pretty obvious what show I'm talking about, right? It's Hanebato, and probably half a dozen others since this is pretty tropey inherently. You'd be forgiven or tricked into thinking I was talking about Haikyuu, even though it's not even the best volleyball anime anymore. <laughs> Better get that fourth season come in production IG, you've got shoes to fill and expectations to keep. So despite these shows having unbelievably similar premises and both having exclamation points in the title, you'd be hard pressed to say that they're the same show, just sport and gender swap. Because fundamentally the way these shows choose to express their premises, the execution is different. And that comes from in part the sports they focus on, but also in the lead characters and how each show spends their time in the pilot episode. Hanebato drops us straight into the tournament setting with Hanasaki demolishing Aragaki. It's a flashback, the rain does a great job of creating atmosphere, but mainly this sequence serves as a reference point for how the action looks. We know nothing about either of these characters, anyone in the stands, the stakes beyond the obvious. It might as well be faceless character number one against faceless character number two. It's practically impossible to be invested in Aragaki, who is our focal point for this scene, since we don't know anything about her except that she's getting crushed and it's slowly destroying her spirit. The match ends with Aragaki getting shut out, leaving her to wonder why she even plays Badman, and Hanasaki hitting the locker room asking herself the same question for entirely different reason. Haikyuu takes a different tact with its opening. After a quick establishment of theme and OP, we begin with Hinata watching the little giant play at nationals. This is the moment that Hinata fell in love with volleyball, which is followed by a cut to his first tournament. And before the game even starts, we learn a good amount about Hinata from watching his interactions with his friends and underclassmen, his struggles and his nerves especially, before he even interacts with Kageyama, whose intensity comes across almost instantly. Haikyuu spends a lot more time on the game itself and building up these two characters. Hinata's flashbacks to his practices and motivations give us a reason to root for him. His unyielding desire to win and play more volleyball is inspiring. Kageyama's personal difficulties with his team really create a contrast with Hinata's very laid-back style of captaining, and even though Kageyama is harsh, he's harsh in a way that respects his opponents. And so while Hinata gets some moments of brilliance, it's Kageyama's team that takes the victory, leaving a tearful Hinata to declare that he'll beat Kageyama next time. The difference here to lay it out as clearly as possible is that Hanebato spends its time in the aftermath of its match, while Haikyuu wants to spend it before and during the match. That's probably pretty obvious. We're talking about a difference of about 15 minutes in Haikyuu compared to just over three minutes in Hanebato. Haikyuu wants you to emotionally connect with Hinata and build up the rivalry with Kageyama so that their difficulties getting along in the future episodes are absolutely clear. It wants you to join Hinata on the full journey, from discovering volleyball to trying to practice any free moment, finally making it to the tournament before getting crushed, and then the motivation that provides after. It sets up Kageyama as a rival, but as one that we can understand. His motivation is clear and so is the mentality that comes from that. Hanebato says, forget that. We're starting with the moment that broke both of these characters and focusing on the aftermath. We don't know what got these characters to this moment, and frankly, it doesn't matter right now. It's not important that Aragaki lost, it's that she lost and became a tyrant because of her own self-doubt. It's not important that Hanasaki won, it's that despite her victory, she doesn't want to play badminton anymore and has some serious emotional hang-ups despite her overwhelming skill. The match itself was irrelevant except for how the two characters moved on from that moment. It doesn't really tell us anything about the characters themselves or what their relationship might be going forward now that they're on the same team. It just drops the emotional elements at the top so that we can watch the rest of the episode. As Hanasaki avoids badminton and Aragaki yells at her team causing it to fracture and her overwhelming desire to beat Hanasaki after being blown out. I don't think one of these is better than the other. Hanebato gets to really focus on how losing so badly affected Aragaki, which becomes a great emotional centerpiece for the episode. 
and her crying on the bridge accomplishes the same goal as Hinata crying declaring he'll win next time. Hanibado can introduce most of its secondary cast, spend time building a parallel with the tennis guys, and build towards the eventual confrontation, instead of focusing on the match itself. This comparison is not a value judgment. Though if you've seen both, I'm sure you have your subjective opinion about which worked better for you. Before we end this off, I think it's worth noting that the lead characters in each have similar but different roles in how they match up. And part of that is because Batman can be 1 on 1 or 2v2 as opposed to volleyball, which is 6 on 6. Hanasaki and Aragaki can compete against each other in actual match play, but can also supplement each other in doubles. Hanasaki will almost certainly learn passion from badminton from Aragaki, and Aragaki will likely learn a little bit about her game and probably herself in return, which is not entirely dissimilar to Haikyuu, where Hinata and Kageyama have to learn how to get along, and Hinata learns about the game from Kageyama, whereas Kageyama learns more about personal skills and himself in the process. That's a pretty simplistic explanation of a really complex relationship, and most of that complexity comes from the fact that they can't really compete against each other, though certainly they do find ways to do so off the court. Hanebado and Haikyuu might look like twins, but their expression of narrative creates unique opportunities for character exploration. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to vote in the Twitter poll for a guaranteed video this month. Link in the description. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and comment with your thoughts, subscribe for more videos, and follow me on Twitter for my live analyses and future projects. Link in the description. We'll be back real soon with another video, but until then, thanks for watching.